Hello folks and welcome. Majaro XFCE Desktop is what this video is about today. I'm going to talk about your panel bar, your panel settings, uh, all things that pertain to the panel. Um, my saying on this one is this is um, not everybody's cup of tea. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn a little bit about your panel bar and what can, you can do to, uh, well, change things or move the icons around, that kind of stuff, then uh, stay tuned. My videos on my new YouTube channel are more than two minutes. All of my videos also have chapters or timelines. You can just hit stop on your player and see that. Um, you can also, um, if you don't want to subscribe, you can also bookmark this and uh, that way you can come back uh, and watch this in multiple sessions. Uh, subscribers, of course, are the easiest, but I understand that not everybody has a Google account and that's what you need to subscribe with. But in either case, um, you can just bookmark this. So I'm going to talk about the panel bar today. Right click, panel, panel preferences. Now I also recommend screenshots before you do any of this stuff. So I'm going to talk about anything to do with your panel. Okay, so let's talk about the screenshot tool. Just type in SC. My user today is Mr. Linux. And I'm going to right click and send that screen tool uh, to my desktop. And then um, I'll move it over here for a second. And basically, I'm just going to talk about the active window. You can do the entire screen or region, but I'm just going to do the active window. So to take a sample of this, for instance, it's just as simple as that. Save. And then uh, in this case, I'm going to send mine to the desktop. I already have another one here for a reason, and I'll talk about that when I get into uh, the folks that are daring with changing this logo, for instance. But let's start from here. So uh, you could achieve a lot of this stuff by going through settings, but I'm just going to do it through the panel bar if you don't mind today. Right click, properties. I'm sorry, not right click. Right click, panel, panel preferences. That's a little bit better. Okay, so the, the length of your panel bar here, it's now lit up in red. You can, uh, of course, resize that. And you could use that sparingly, and then I would also recommend leaving that on. Um, different types of, uh, you know, you may be used to that, or desk bar or horizontal. Lots of different choices. Uh, you're allowed up to six rows, so that's kind of excessive and kind of weird looking, but more importantly, that's what you're allowed there. So I'm going to um, copy that number for a second. I would normally do a screenshot at this point, and then I'm going to increase the sizes of these things. So. This is all subjective, but more importantly, you can. So whatever you feel comfortable with. So I'm gonna leave that at 41, and uh, then I'm gonna continue. Under appearance, uh, you do have your light mode, dark mode thing, uh, adjust the icons, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, again, screenshots would be advisable. And then I'm gonna talk about items, and what is whisker menu? Well, that is the Manjaro menu. So if I um, have more items in here, I would uh, probably make two screenshots or make this box larger. So in this case, I'm just going to take one screenshot of this before I get started. So let's do the active window only. And I'll save that screenshot to the desktop. I'll talk about the edit key here in a minute, but uh, we're just talking about moving stuff around. So the whisker menu currently sits right here. So if I wanted on the opposite end, I would just continually hit that button there. And it'll eventually end up down there in the corner. It's that green icon. So basically if I close that, now I have my menu over here and everything else operates just on the opposite angle. Now you can see my simple screen recorder is the only thing that's over there. Right click, panel, preferences, items. And then I'm going to move the whisker menu right back to where it was. In other words, the Manjaro logo. And you can do this with just about anything in here. So if you don't like the logout key, of course, there's two ways of doing that one. But uh, let's pick on the clock for a second. So your clock is sitting here and you want to move it somewhere else. Well, where do you want to move it to? Now it's over here. Now it's kind of semi-centered. And now it's right next to the Manjaro logo. So 
click the calendar. You know, some people may prefer that. Maybe not. All right, so I'm going to move the clock back. Just highlight whatever you're working with. And uh, again, you don't have to make screenshot, but hopefully you got a good memory. It is always a good idea. All right, so the whisker menu here uh, also has uh, what I call the massive hamburger menu for edits. You can also right click and hit properties for the same thing. So let's take a look at the screenshot on this before we play active and uh, save to desktop. And um, let's just grab a hold of that screenshot and leave it over here for a second. So what I'm going to do is change the size of these icons. And of course, this is an XFCE desktop. You can grab a hold of the corner too. So I'm going to go with very large, very large, since I already have a screenshot of this on close. So now you get the idea here. You know, this is obviously way excessive. Right click, properties, and we'll go the opposite. Very, very small. And close. Or if you make the mistake of clicking this, what do you think you, the outcome of that will be? Well, that would be like that. Kind of looks like text menus. All right, let's go back in here and put this back to where it was. So I wanted um, the application size was small. I'm just mimicking this over here. And then smaller on that one and close. Okay, so that's basically where I was. And of course, you can just resize that back if you like. All right, so the other thing I'm going to talk about, and this is uh, not uh, everybody's cup of tea and uh, shouldn't be taken lightly, is the appearance section in here. This is a screenshot, so don't let that confuse you. So I could open it up here, and I can also right-click, Panel, Preferences, Items, Whisker Menu, Hamburger Menu, and do it here also. This icon is where I'm referring to. So I'm going to click it for a second. So under normal conditions, um, if you are picking this uh, up the first time, you'll see a screenshot that'll look, um, that'll look like that when you click it open. And this is where the physical Whisker Menu Manjaro icon is located. It's under User Share icon, and that's the name of it. Okay, so for you folks that want to know how to do this, take a look at the timeline on my video. Okay, for at least returning this icon. But there is another way. The Manjaro a distributor loco is a also here but this is the actual path that the original icon was in so at this point I could bring in my own image files of whatever folder I don't have any samples for you folks today I used to have a previous YouTube channel in which I showed some uh, different kinds of custom icons but more importantly you can bring in your own whether you downloaded it off the internet or made it yourself you can do image files and point to the folder that you saved your icons. So I'm going to talk about all icons today. So you could look for stuff. Let's see what, um, if I put in man, what I find. And there's the distributor logo. But I can also uh, just clear the field. And uh, I'm going to um, switch this up. So basically all icons, and then you can literally pick anything in here. They're just icons, as one would say. So if I wanted uh, that one, for instance, that's already done. If I wanted a different one, I just need to click on that for a second and start scrolling. So if I wanted this uh, first icon that is in this menu, you can see it down there. Okay. You can even put in your own title if you like. Okay, now that says my stuff. Now I'm going to return that back to where it was. Where it said applications and just icons. Okay, so that's how you can do that. So I'm going to click that again and change that back to the Manjaro icon. This time I'm going to pick this one and close. 
So the original icon, again, one more time, is in user share icons, and it, it's called whisker menu dash manjaro dot svg, if you were curious. All right, so that's the logo. I already showed how to resize these icons in here. Right click, panel, preferences, items. Talked about the whisker menu, in other words, the Manjaro menu. And uh, now I'm gonna move the clock. Let's say you don't want the clock in the corner, you want it somewhere in the middle, somewhere else, or even over on this side, doesn't matter. You just, just keep moving it. So if that's where you want it, hit close and it'll stay that way. Okay, right click, panel, preferences, items, and clock, I'll continue and put it right next to the whisker menu. Some people may prefer this in some cases. Okay, right click, panel, preferences, items. Put the clock back where it was. Again, I always recommend screenshots when you're editing stuff like this. It's just a good idea because let's face it, uh, unless you've got a really good memory and you like to play. Because a lot of times we forget where things are positioned and we'd like to put the original back. So that's why I do screenshots of different things. Okay, that was the original screenshot. So basically I'm just looking at this thing. Ah, I see the action button. This clock needs to be moved because that action button, which is my logout key, which is green in this case because of the theme that I'm using. So I want the, this again is what you're working with. This is screenshot. So I would just go with the clock and move it up one. And now that looks like a match and this is exactly how it started. Okay. If that's what you wanted to do. Okay. So we have a couple of choices. We have row sizes, appearance, we have uh, icon sizes, we have opacity, we have dark mode, light mode thing. Uh, so if I were to take a look at that, for instance, or Let's look at our different menus. Right click, panel, preferences, appearance, and I'll slide that off. And then, of course, the, uh, the items in the panel preferences. Whisker menu, again, is the Manjaro menu, and the rest of these things are just different elements that you can move around. So one more time, I do recommend screenshots. You can also uh, experiment with adding new elements, and uh, you'll get different uh, options in here also. Other than that, folks, I am going to close this down and say thank you for watching. Take care.